This investigation is heating up. The right, uh, FBI right now pouring over evidence, photos, and videos of the Boston Marathon bombing. And for the first time, we are seeing parts of an explosive device that was used, a twisted piece of metal from what is believed to be a pressure cooker. Investigators are also examining these photos. They were sent to our NBC station in Boston, WHDH. You can see a bag lying right next to a mailbox right along the race route. And then the aftermath... And it appears that one of the explosions took place right where that bag was sitting. Of course, officials are trying to determine if that bag contained the second bomb. As for a suspect and the motive of this, FBI says that part of the investigation remains wide open. A number of vigils were held last night for the three people who died, including a huge gathering in the hometown of eight-year-old Martin Richard. Natalie Morales is in Boston with that part of the story, but we want to begin with NBC's Lester Holt and where this investigation stands this morning. Lester, good morning to you. Savannah, good morning. The investigation made some remarkable progress on Tuesday as investigators discovered parts of the bomb itself, learned more about its construction, laced with uh, pellets and nails to inflict maximum damage. But recovering the bombs, that's just one piece of a very complex puzzle. Investigators are now combing every inch of the Boston Marathon finish line, looking for clues linked to Monday's terrorist attack, including analyzing one of the bombs itself. This morning, we are getting our first look at the mangled remains of an explosive device collected at the scene. These photos were released by the FBI. Among items partially recovered are pieces of black nylon, which could be from a backpack, and what to be, appear to be fragments of BBs and nails possibly contained in a pressure cooker device. This as authorities follow up on more than 2,000 tips from eyewitnesses. Photos like these obtained by our NBC affiliate WHDH indicate nylon bags might have been placed in trash bags near the marathon route. We do not know yet if the bag in question is relevant, but it is one of many possible leads investigators are pursuing. Ben Thorndike works in a building that overlooks the finish line. He took these still photos after the first explosion. The chaos is clear, the crowd scrambles, and this man, with clothes torn by the blast, runs away. Even though it wasn't video, in some ways it was better because you could see things unfold. Tuesday night, a vigil for eight-year-old victim Martin Richard was held in his hometown of Dorchester, Massachusetts. I think of my own kids. Um, I just can't even imagine the pain that they're going through. A moment of silence was also observed at Yankee Stadium during last night's game to remember the young boy and two others killed, an unnamed Chinese graduate student and Crystal Marie Campbell, a 29-year-old from Medford, Massachusetts. Uh, we are heartbroken at the death of our daughter, Crystal Marie. She was a wonderful person. <laughs> Everybody that knew her, loved her. Raw emotion from families and loved ones still struggling to grasp the unthinkable. Investigators are saying somebody knows who did this. They've made a broad appeal to the public, asking people to come forward if they know of someone who was looking for ingredients for a bomb. Maybe they heard someone testing, uh, heard an explosion. Anyone who has information they're asking to come forward, they've had, as we note, more than 2,000 tips. And Matt, the president, will be here in Boston on Thursday uh, to speak at a memorial service and help this community as it continues to heal. All right, Lester Holt in Boston this morning. Lester, thank you very much.